We are in the 020 Amsterdam with the current reigning, defending, welterweight champion of the world, Myrtle Grunhardt. We're going to take you back when he fought Harut Gregorian. I don't remember who won this fight, Myrtle, but I believe he gets you pretty good, doesn't he? <laughs> well, he did a little bit, but I knew I was going to win the fight as soon as I saw him at the, at the, at the weigh-in. So, really? Let's hit yeah. play here. What were you seeing in his eyes at the weigh-in that made you think that? In his eyes. I always look into my opponent's eyes and I already saw a uh, weakness in his eyes. Mm -hmm. So I already knew it was, uh, was my, my match. Now, according to his trainers, no one in the gym wants to spar with the guy, this guy. He's an animal. He's a killer. What do you see it when you look at him? Uh, I see something all day. I, see, I look in his eyes, you know. I don't look at his, how he is, if he's a killer or not. I look in his eyes and everybody has, has weak points. And he has them too. So uh, I, I also spar with him in the gym. I gotta say this because he, when we fought in 2012, mm -hmm. we fought each other, and I think a year later he was coming to our gym to spar with us. So I spar with him too. How'd you, know? you do in sparring? Yeah, I was in election. He didn't, you know, a little bit. Uh, you know how it is when you, you know, I knock him down and then yeah. came to sparring. And then it was a little bit awkward. But yeah, look at your abs. Your abs are looking good. Yeah, down I'm, I'm looking You're fine. In good shape, look huh? at that. Look at that. Wow. Look at my focus. Look at my eyes. A lot of Vaseline on your face, though. <laughs> this mic's Yeah, you just got it poured right into your beard, huh? Yeah. Oh. There's Milano. He's your per your personal trainer, your strength trainer, right? Uh, no, and uh, he's there, too, but he's not my a personal trainer. My strength trainer, he's my, uh, he's just there. Fabian Bernstein is my, per my strength trainer. Okay. My brother. Your brother. Yeah, yeah. All right, so here we go. What's your strategy in the first round with this guy? Uh, the first round, my strategy, uh... Oh, Look, only look, observe, and see how hard he can punch. Because everybody told, told me he has hard punches, you know. And when I fought him at 70 kilo, he didn't have that hard punch. So everybody told me he's a hard bouncer. So, uh, yeah, just observe and look, feel how his punches is. So, uh, now, you're, you're in fighting in France, I believe, Paris, France. How does it feel to fight in Paris? Is it a different feeling than fighting in Holland? Um, not really. The last time I fought there was against Cedric. Uh, I didn't <laughs> really had a great experience that time in Paris. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys didn't touch gloves. No, no, no. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, yes, I did touch his gloves. Yeah. Oh, no, it was his head, yeah? Yeah? Was his head. I touched his head. <clears throat> See, look at me walk around. He puts his hands up because he knows. He's worried about your power. Yeah, he's worried about my power because it's my weight. Last time I fought him was 70 kilo. I put him down at 70 kilo, but now I'm at 77 kilo. So, you know, he got to worry about my power. How about that announcer, Todd Grisham? What a bang up job. job what a guy, guys. what a guy, oh, yeah. Such a great guy. <laughs> now, everyone says how hard it is to fight you that you come at weird angles, you're unorthodox. How did, yeah. you, how did you get that style? I don't know. I love. I think from the streets or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When's the last Some time? things you have from 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 early in your in your in your youth youth, you know, uh, you take it way where you take it with you in your your fighting style in your career. You take those things with you. There are some circle kind of things you cannot. And um, how you say it? You, you learn something, but they can't undone it. How you say it in? You can't unlearn it. Yeah. Unlearn it? Okay. Okay, unlearn it. Right. <laughs> so, so, okay, you go again. so, so when, uh, when was the last time you got into a street fight? You said things you learned on the street. When was the last time Myrtle Grunhardt fought a guy on the street? On the street? I think I was, in, uh, I want to say 16 years ago when I was 16, but that, <laughs> my cousin is laughing. Yeah? So, <laughs> were you a good street fighter? Were you killing guys on the street? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was killing guys. Really? But I wasn't 16. I think I was uh, 20. <laughs> How old I was I? I 20. Think, yeah, I think I fought also when I was fighting in my career. You know, I was also fighting in the streets when I went to bars or something, to clubs. I was Just for fun. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. See, See some, guys, some guys say when they get so skilled that they know they can beat everybody up, they, they avoid fighting at all costs. But you kind of want to show your skills at the bar. No, not, 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 not that really. Not that. Uh, because uh, the guys were coming at me, you know? Yeah, so you you're, you're guys, no, you're guys. You have guys that they know you're fighting, so they're gonna push you or they're gonna do something, you know. And when you drink some, you drink a little bit, you know, it's a little bit, you're a little <laughs> bit loose. <Yeah. laughs> All right, let's get back to the real fight. Let's Here go, we go back to the real fight. 
Oh, so he's obviously he's, trying to he's trying to maul you right here. Yes, you just you just want to go through me, you know. But oh, there was one knee. I know I had him with that one knee because you always stay with his gut like this, open. You never stay like this. Never stay close with his gut. You stay open. So I, I know I already had him. I feel good. I really feel good. So, so you've already hit him with one knee. Are you thinking in your brain, I'm just waiting to set up the I'm second? I'm just waiting. I'm just going to throw some punches, and then the second knee is coming. But that's going to take some time. I'm not going to give it right away, you know? Right. So that's why I'm, that's, that's why I'm the predator, because I'm not doing it right away. Oh. That's another one. Oh, he got you with one he knee. He got me also with too. one knee. Yeah. But you know, I got the beard, so... Uh, <laughs> and, the, and all that Vaseline, right? And all the Vaseline on it, so... Yeah. yeah, but that knee's there every time you throw it. Every time it's there. But also, look, look, I'm in the corner, I'm pushing back. You saw that takedown? I yeah. can do MMA too, man. You, could, you saw right? that takedown? Well, what are you going to do when you get him down, though? That's the problem. Yeah, nothing on kickboxing. Yeah, ground and pound. There's another <laughs> knee. Well, I tell you what, you were talking about him keeping his hands out. You're you're throwing some wide punches, too. I'm throwing too. wide punches, too, because I want him to punch with me, you know? Yeah. That's the opening I'm going to see. And now, you see, that was one. Another knee. Right another there, one. The, yeah. Like DJ Kelly said, another one. <laughs> <laughs> You're really hitting him with some stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm hitting him. But I also saw when I'm hitting him, he's turning. He's, he's turning, yeah. you know? So he's not facing me anymore, but he was, he was turning a little bit. So that was the... Turning because he wants to shield himself from you? Yeah, so that was the moment I always saw that I had him. That was a great first round. Exciting. Yeah, yeah. exciting first round for the, for the audience too. Yeah, so Mike tells you in the corner what? Mike, yeah, yeah, he tells me in the corner, you got him now, you got him. And they always throwing a little bit of water on me. I felt good. So you're thinking Going finish at this around. point, or are you just thinking stay the course? No, I'm thinking finish, finish it. And there, boom. Now he's doing it. Oh, that's the moment. There you go. That's so let's go moment. right. That's the moment you caught him with the knee, and he turns his back on you. Take us through that sequence as you remember. Let's rewind it here. All right. Let's go back. Here we go. I'm walking, kicking, and here I come again. Uh, just going to look boom. at my moment. There's the knee, I'm walking forward and I'm throwing oh. a punch. Now some will say, some have said, once an opponent turns their back on you, you kind of say, look, don't throw the punch. That's Wh true. What do you say? I'm just speaking at uh, the heat in the moment. Yes. Okay, I'm throwing the knee, he make a turn, I'm coming forward with a punch, it's done. That's my, that, that's my focus on that moment because we all we both fighting for uh, the championship belt for the number. Right, we, both got, we both got a place. We yeah. both felt yes for the contender, and we both want to be champions. I want to be champion. I know about him, but I want to be champion. So every every mistake you make in the ring is gonna is gonna hit you. In hindsight, if you could go back again, would you have thrown that punch? Definitely, because as my last fight, Cedric Dumbay also did the same. I did that state, so right away the same punch. Yeah. If he saw the fight. He turned his back in the ropes, Cedric Dumbe turned his back for me. And he was like, hit me, hit me if you can. I came forward <laughs> with the palm and I hit him with the, with the, with the left punch. Yeah. And then he got angry. He told me, cheater, cheater. <laughs> I'm no cheater. What right. do you mean cheater? Why well, right. am I a cheater? So, all right, so you've knocked him down. He's immediately, you know he's done, right? Look yeah. at him. Yeah, he's done. He's done. He's done. So, you go to the corner. I'm just... celebrating like always. I knocked somebody down. Now what I'm happens? celebrating. Now I see some guys with flip-flops coming in the ring. I don't know what they do when I see Mike, Mike coming at me. So I was a little bit, you know, were you at the moment. Now, I, I know a guy caught you with a real good punch. Did you feel those punches or were you just so discombobulated? You I did... felt one punch because those guys was also full of adrenaline, you know. So I, I felt one punch adrenaline. coming through. Adrenaline. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I felt one punch coming through. So it was the right punch of one of these guys and it hit my jaw. So uh, I thought it was broken, but it wasn't because I... Obvious could tell when Joe was broken, so mm -hmm. you know if it was broken, I couldn't tell nothing. So uh, now were those go? Were they? Could you understand what they were saying to you? Were they yelling anything at you? Those fans? Other uh, I didn't hear any fans. I only heard was, you know, yeah. my trainer, Milano, those guys. I only can. I was a little yeah. bit in uh, in shock. 
How you say it? I was a little bit yeah. shocked from those guys from those flip flops coming in the uh, ring. Uh, uh, watching this back, have you ever seen Big Mike move that fast? He was <laughs> fast, man. He was, he was fast. Let's go back and see Big Mike <laughs> get in the ring. But I was telling me also, Mike, after we saw this, because we was watching it back. Like here's. Here's it down. The guys are coming. Yeah. Look uh, already. And I here told like, Mike, Mike, where are you at, man? Where are you at? He beat Milano yeah, there, he didn't he? Yeah, he beat Milano. What's the test? He beat Milano. Yeah, holy cow. It's crazy. <laughs> now, there's a great story about you and Big Mike, how you met. You, yeah. I'm paraphrasing here. You kicked a soccer ball that either hit him or came near hitting him, and he yeah. said something to him, to you, and you went, ah, get out of here, you old get man. He goes, here. come to my gym tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. you showed up to fight. I gave him a big mouth, you know. He said, come to my gym tomorrow, and we'll see, you know. Okay, I'm coming with 15 other guys. <laughs> <laughs> All my guys from my hood, you know, at the moment. At that point, uh, we was going to the gym, and uh, we was there. Mike was there. He had a, 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 bas a, a basket with, with the gloves in it, you know. He you got your gloves, everybody took on their gloves, and we spoke with Mike. All of and you And he guys kicked did. all of us, all of us, all of us. He beat spot. all you up. He beat all of us. I remember when he beat me up, I was hitting him. I was hitting him, and uh, suddenly I turned around, and I saw his right hand uh, <laughs> coming to me. <laughs> so I was running all the way to the gym. <laughs> and, and, and at that point, I just fell in love with the whole sport, the whole kickboxing, and everything. So Mike beating your ass is beating what, my ass what made you love the sport. Definitely. Wow. Crazy, yeah? Amazing. I was wondering what if I kicked the ball to an, uh, an, uh, a bank account or something. <laughs> you'd be an accountant? <laughs> I'd be an accountant. <laughs> That's great. You're a clown, you'd be in the circus? <laughs> yeah. So, at, all right, Very back sure. to the fight. After this, you're laying down in the corner right here. You, you think you may have broken your jaw. Yeah. It's just still so crazy. What are, you, what are you thinking at this point? At this point, I, I'm thinking, you know, the guy's just telling me to lay down, stay on the ground. Don't chase, do nothing. So I'm just staying low key, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, from one moment to the other moment, I just uh, wake up a little bit, you know, and then I get a little bit uh, uh, angry about what happened. Yeah. So the guys, they just uh, grab me and uh, say, you know, to stay cool, to stay cool. Now those guys apparently apologized. Did they not? And you didn't press charges? What happened with that? I don't know, you have to and, um, ask Glory for that because I don't know exactly how it went, you know, um, how everything goes. So uh, I left, I, I, I leave that to Glory. I thought you handled, did, it, handled it really well. You didn't seem upset, you weren't mad. Yeah, no, you know, I was watching it too and I'm really glad with myself how, how I handled the situation. You know? Yeah. After the fight, after the guys were going out of the ring, I was spoke to the audience, you know, to the people at home, that little children are watching, you know, this is a sportsmanship and stuff like that, you know, so I was really proud of myself too. So when you were celebrating on the ropes, what happened from your perspective? I was in the, in, the, in, the, in the corner and I saw these guys coming out, you know. I was like, come on, man, this is, uh, a, 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 this is a sport, you know. Things happen, some people get emotional too close, you know, but this is a sport. Our little children are watching this sport at home, you know, you cannot come in the ring like this and be out of kickboxers, you know, we train hard for this kind of thing. You know, it actually, in the long run, kind of became a good thing for you. You were on ESPN, we got you on ESPN in America, you know, you did a lot of interviews and stuff, so it made people know who you are a little bit. Yeah, that, that, that's true. From one bad thing came the good thing. Right, and these things happen <laughs> so, sometimes. Yeah, it happens sometimes. So when you fight him again, we'll get a bunch of Chicago mobsters to run in the ring and beat you up, and we'll get you a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you a lot more publicity. Well, I think, think so. I heard some of those seats are already sold out. Yeah, it's really red it's hot. It's great. Yeah. So you're fighting him again in Chicago. As soon as they called you and told you about that fight, what did you think? Uh, I was happy, man. I was glad, mm -hmm. really, because, you know, Chicago, my fans, all the people around there, I've already fought three times in Chicago, I think, and yeah. all those guys, they love me there, so, uh, you know, I can't wait to go back. And in watching this fight, just this one round together, it seems like if you can do that same strategy, he's going to be in trouble. Oh, he's definitely going to be in trouble. I already know he's going to be in trouble because, you know, uh, I'm the champion now, I, I feel good, I feel great, I'm training hard, and... Uh, I think nobody, I know nobody can beat me. And there's the replay. Let's there's go back. Replay again. Here's the guy punching in the face. Right there, you're celebrating. There you Boom. got him. That That's was the right, right punch. That was the right hand. Yeah. But one, one more is coming. You can't see that one. Yeah. But that was the right hand slipping on my gloves uh -huh. to my, uh, I think to my forehead or something. 
And then you got another one in the combination he made yeah. on my jaws. So. Well, you showed you had a tough chin too, man. I always have a tough chin. Nobody, nobody can take me down on my way. Yeah. <laughs> At least not in the bar where you've been drinking, right? <laughs> hey, thanks, man. This is a lot of fun. Luck. Good luck thanks to you in luck. Chicago. We'll see you at Glory Thank 50. Thank you so much, Todd. All right. It's going to be great.